After a summer full of beta testing, Apple today officially announced that it will release iOS 15 and iPodOS 15 to the public on Monday, September 20th. The update includes a handful of new features and changes, such as updates to FaceTime, new notification changes, and more. While not mentioned during today's event, the Apple press release for the iPhone 13 revealed the release date. As a reminder, iOS 15 is supported by every iPhone and iPod Touch model that runs iOS 14. That includes iPhone 6s and 6 is plus iPhone SE, 1st gen iPhone 7 and 7 plus iPhone 8 and 8 plus iPhones iPhone XS and XS Max iPhones iPhone 11 iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max iPhone 12 Mini and iPhone 12 iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max iPhone SE, 2nd gen iPod Touch, 7th gen even though some features such a one of the most notable changes is something called Focus, which allows you to set custom preferences for notifications and home screens. Another new feature in iOS 15 is the all-new weather application, which allows you to view full-screen weather maps showing precipitation, air quality, and temperature. The weather app design also now adjusts to show the most important weather information for that location and includes new maps modules, an updated 10-day forecast, and new graphical weather data. iOS 15 also includes an all-new design for Safari, which went through multiple revisions through the bed. The streamlined tab bar takes up less room on the page and floats slightly above the bottom of the screen, where it's easier to reach. The bar seamlessly moves out of the way as you scroll and appears again with a tap, Apple explained. You can learn more about what's new in iOS 15 in our full guide right here. Keep up with everything Apple announces at its September event in our live news hub. FTC, we use income earning auto affiliate links. More. Check out 9to5Mac on YouTube for more Apple news.